Supernatural power of God is moving amongst America. The global anointing, healing, deliverance, be amongst your families, your ministries. Amen. The Lord is moving. He's moving amongst America. We worship you, Lord. We exalt God. We esteem and honor all the apostles. Prophets, pastors, teachers, evangelists, bishops from every denomination. Amen. In your region. Amen. Let's worship. Let's praise God. We worship the Lord. We praise Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Again, yeah, we worship you. Amen. The Lord is moving. Amen. He's moving, y'all. He's moving. Amen. Reverence the presence of the Lord. We honor Apostle Paul Smith, Apostle Pinner Burns, to every leadership here. Let's worship the Lord. Amen. Wherever your locations are, your residence is, let's take a moment to worship the Most High God. Amen. Release the anointing. Release healing. The irreverent, the reverence of God. Amen. The aura of His presence. The smoke of His coming. Amen. He's moving. Worship Him. Amen. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Amen. To every kingdom, to every nation. Worship the Lord. Praise God. He's God. He's good, y'all. King of glory. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. They can worship him. 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 Kendrick. 
nations worship him worship him amen bow before his presence bow before the presence of the Lord God is in charge he is the king of kings he is the Lord of lords worship him mighty warrior worship him majesty great God worship him worship the Lord he's moving worship him worship him worship him Worship Him. I can't get out of the We come to worship. We don't come for kings. We don't come to worship no other man but the true and living God. Worship Him. Amen. Worship Him. Hey, worship Him. Worship Him. We warrior. Amen. Worship Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Great God, Alpha the Omega. Worship Him. He's worshiped. He's glorified. Worship Him. Jehovah. Your Kobasha. Worship Him. To every young man, to every young woman. Worship. Praise God. Worship Him. He's moving amongst America. Worship Him. Amen. Sound the alarm in earth. The King of glory. They release the fresh anointing of the Lord. Miracles, signs, wonders, breakthroughs. We worship you, Lord. Hey, and let everything that have breath. Praise the Lord. To every kindred. Worship Him. Worship Him. Amen. Amen. The Lord is moving amongst America. Through every trial. Through every tribulation. Through his persecution. Worship. Praise God. Worship Him. Yes. He's moving. He's moving amongst America. He's moving in your life. Worship Him. Worship Him. Come on, worship. Come on, worship us. Jehovah, God bless you. Brother Nick, Black, bless you. So every worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. I get tired of worship the Lord. Amen. This worship. Worship. Come Holy Spirit. As a rest. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Oh yeah, Yo, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. As a mm, Let him let him fill you. Amen. Let him he quicken your motor bodies. Worship him. Worship. Come. Holy Spirit, worship Him. God bless you, Brother Lex. Worship Him. Worship Worship. Fill me with your presence. Reverence His presence. Worship Him. Worship, worship. Worship Him. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. He's moving. He's filling you with the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 2. Yes, I do. Amen. Verse 16, 17, 18, 19, and 21. Holy it's happening in your life. He's filling you with the power of God. Amen. 
and you are filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking a heavy language. We call forth the angels of God from the third heaven. Worship Him. Come, Holy Spirit. Oh, Kosha, worship Him. Oh, come, Holy, Holy Spirit. Like the spring. Jesus, 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 God bless you, Spencer. Worship. We worship. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Come on. Tap in the spiritual realm. Amen. Get out of yourself. Get out of your titles and worship Him. Your life belongs to God. Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Go, come. Get out of your Worship. Worship. Worship Him. We release to you the global anointing. Fill this house, every home, with the fresh anointing, fresh oil, oil, oil of anointing. Walk on, show, go, go, worship Him at war in Africa and in India, in the fifth state. Worship and not worship Him. Come, Holy Spirit. He's filling you with the presence of the Lord. We break down strongholds. We break down barriers. Every generational curse has been broken today. Amen. Praise Him. Yes, Lord. You've been born. Worship Him. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Wait, worship don't him. press that skip button. Are you ready to earn your psychology worship degree? Him. Praise him. Once lost. Get across the movement. The Lord is moving. Yeah. You must have the. Come on, saints. I feel the Lord. Fire burning. Fire by fire burning. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm a shikar. The spirits. You're gonna be. God is moving. He's moving. Lord God, cry your cross here. He cannot control. He moving, y'all. I feel the power of God in the master's hand. My soul, fire burning. Oh, I'm free. And I know I've been born again. Born again, apostle. Amen. AP, shepherd, I feel the Lord moving. That's like all them days, man. When they were the water cord, they came a sound from heaven. It was like a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house where they was. And all each one of them was filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And what God about to do in this in this, the last days. And man, we're gonna go back to old Pentecostal movement. Old fashioned religion. When we all the water cord in one place. And man, it's time for you to worship him, praise him. His soul, a soul, a fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Lord. Da, da, da. The fire of God. Fire, 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 fire. The presence is filling the place. God, I know you're doing something. He's restoring. That's right, clothing tones. Yeah, man. Fire. Fire. Fire of God. The fire of God. Yeah, they are burning. Yeah, God. But the spare me has war Holy Ghost fire. Oh, go. Some of my making moves. They can fill in your bones. 
got my hands. Pick your hand toward the screen. I'm free from sin. Every demon, every devil, I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Pick your hand toward the screen and receive the supernatural power of God. Receive it. The impartation. We cast out demons. We cast out devils. We break down strongholds. We break down barriers in the name of Jesus. We break down yokes in the name of Jesus. Break it down now, God. Every illegal thing in the spiritual room, I break it down by the power of the Holy Ghost. And it will fire God will hit your hands down to your kneecaps. Amen. We speak healing that you will walk off wheelchairs. Amen. That you know that they eat the death will hear again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pick the seven bones together. Seven bones together. Seven bones together. My God, hallelujah. Amen. So play with the power of God. God is moving here. Hallelujah. He's moving, y'all. He's moving, y'all. Y'all just don't believe it, man. Oh, again. Yes, he is, man. Look, oh, go. Oh, go. God is moving, y'all. Uh, he's moving. Uh, I'm free from sin. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free from sin. Hallelujah. I'm free from sin tonight. Are you born again tonight? Jesus The Lord is moving. God bless you, Pastor. Bless you. Bless you, Pastor. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord is moving. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Amen. The Lord is moving. Yeah. I want you to embrace the supernatural. Power of the Lord. Give him praise and let his presence saturate this building right now. Come on from your inner body. God bless you. I'm just enjoying Jesus, man. Amen, amen. Amen. Yes. I had to tap in to get some of that fire. <laughs> man, God is moving, man. Anything you want to say to the people? Yes, 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 man. 
I, I'm very honored to have been brought on camera by this powerful man of God. Uh, you can very rarely find someone who's willing to worship alone. Like, you know, when you get by yourself in that place and you share that worship, mm. and this is a powerful thing because it's easy to worship in front of the saints and in the body. But when you can come into that agreement with the Lord and with the Holy Spirit by yourself, I was, I was like, I looked at it, I said, man, I got to get, get in on this. I have to get into this worship. You're in the realm right now. The Holy Spirit is all over the place. The Holy Spirit is moving. Feel it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any prophetic, the Lord give you a prophetic word for the people, Apostle? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a change. And not only is it a change into the guard right now, but it's time to move. It's a change into the guard and it's time to move. The first thing that the Lord showed me, he showed me, he took me to Eli and Samuel. Then he took me to David and Saul. And I was wondering what he was doing, and he's showing me the difference. Oh, and then he took me to he took me to Eleazar and Aaron. Now the similarities between Eleazar and Aaron, and then the similarities between him and Saul and David, and the complete differences between Samuel and his sons. Now, what was the difference? Saul fought the changing of the guard. He fought the changing of the hands of the power of the Lord. Also, Eleazar, I mean, um, Aaron was disobedient in leading the children into worshiping idols. Now, where was Samuel different? Samuel was different that when it came time for his changing of the guard, even when he saw that his own sons were out of line, Samuel rolled with it and did what God told him to do. The Lord says that the men and women of God who roll with what he's doing as he is moving and shaking and changing in the environment, he, those will be the ones whose ministries will remain. Not only will their ministries remain, but it will flourish still under their leadership as they allow the new generation to come forward. But for those who try to suppress and hold back the, the movement of God and the new thing that he is doing, they will fall by the wayside. That's what the Lord gave me. The mighty men and women of God that are willing to yield in obedience to the changing or the movement that God is doing, the new thing and the raising up of the stronger ones, the ones that are able to do like you're doing, Apostle, to be here and to worship him with nobody, not having to be in the house of God because under, with a full understanding that you are the tabernacle of the living God, that his presence is always with you, that the Holy Spirit is welling up in you and sitting in you and you can worship him without having anyone else, any physical presence. So in that, with that being said, and as I just closed it out, because I wanted to make it brief as possible. No, 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 no. Let, let, let the Lord use you. Let him use you. Have a time there. Amen. Amen. Um, Eli also fell by the wayside because Eli made the same mistake. Eli had his sons running the temple when God had a perfectly apt man of God right there under his nose. He, that he sent, that he had Hannah bring to Eli. And he literally would not adhere to what he knew he was supposed to do. And so he suffered by the punishment of death. And so did Aaron. Aaron was called up to the mountain in front of the people where he, where he died. Once he was stripped of his garments, he died. Oh, but on the contrary, Samuel, when he knew that his time was coming short and that had placed his sons to be over Israel. And once he saw that the people would not have them, he listened to God. He went to God and did what the people told, did what, the, what God told him to do. So in this new season, if your ministry is going to stand, it's going to stand on your obedience to raise, to look for who God is showing you is 
the man with the anointing or his chosen vessel and begin to cultivate and bring them to the forefront so that God can use the anointing to elevate the ministry he has in you to its next plateau, to its next level, because it won't reach it in disobedience. And it also will not reach it. It will not reach it if you will not allow yourself to be used. No distractions, no excuses. All that, all that is irrelevant right now in the movement of God. He's not accepting distract. He's not accepting excuses. He's not accepting. Oh, I couldn't. Hey, remember, you remember what he told, uh, what he told the disciples, right? The ones who followed him. They said what well, he said. Um, follow me. What they say? Well, I, I, I want to come with you, but let me go bury my dad. My dad, you know, he, he passed away. Let me go back and bury him. And what did he say? Let the dead bury their own dead. And then another one had another excuse. And then he told us straight and simple that he who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom. So those of us who are willing to prove that we are fit for the kingdom, we prove it by action, by motion, by movement, and by obedience. So the word of the Lord of today is obedience. Obedience in knowing who God has placed in who, what's the word? Hallelujah. Those who labor amongst us. Obedience in knowing those who labored amongst us and knowing that God has called them and this is their time. This is time to allow God to work through them and allow his power and his, and his, and his presence to be revealed in the next level anointed because it's going to release a glory in your ministry. It's going to release a glory in your house, in your home. It's going to release a new level of glory, the weightiness of God that will dwell and come down and literally deliver, cause mass deliverance, mass healings, drawing everything around us. Another word I wanted to drop on you real quick is he said, till the soil. Till the soil around you. Till the soil around you. Till your neighborhoods. Start with tilling ourselves. Till our homes. Then till our neighborhoods. Till our church and look for what God is doing. He going to point them out to you. So, because we have some of them that are scared. They're scared to come forward with what God is doing in them. And we have to be vigilant in the spirit. And we have to be awake and sober and vigilant watching and God, it, he will point them out to us. And so th this is the new motion. This is the movement. The movement is to, uh, through obedience, the trust that God has already placed those things necessary for the fruitfulness of his ministry in our lives, in us. I hear the Lord, I just heard him say, what's in your hand? What's in your hand? Moses had the very answer to his hand to his dilemma in his hand as he dropped the staff and it turned into a serpent and he picked it up by the tail from the first he ran from it because he was scared as we all do we run from circumstances we run from problems we run from the very things that God uses to shape us and mold us but then God wants us to grab it by the tail in his in his name through his victory and through his leading to grab it by the tail and make it work for us. That's what the staff did. When he turned, when he grabbed it by the tail, it turned back into a staff. The serpent turned back into a staff and became his walking stick. Became something that he could use to walk, to hold him up on long journeys. Something that he could use to, to <laughs> use to fight off wolves or to fight off predators, coyotes and ravenous beasts. It became a weapon it became a tool and it became his strength. And so if we are willing to stand face to face, in, to stand face to face with the enemy as God is our armor and walk in obedience and raise up what God has told us to raise up, to go out where God has told us to do, because remember, he told us to go out into all the world, go out into all the world and preach the gospel. Go out into all the world and preach the gospel and that he who may hear might be saved. Why? So that they can believe. And then what? 
so that these signs could follow them that believe. That they would take up the enemy, that they would tread on the enemy, that they would cast out the enemy, that they would heal all those who were oppressed of the enemy. And that will be the fullness of what God is doing. He can display his power inside the building, but he would rather display his power out in the masses, in the marketplace, at the swap meet, in the mall, Walmart, wherever. I'm here to tell you, when the Lord moves upon me to pray, I'm praying wherever he tells me to pray. If he tell me to lay hands, the only thing that's going to stop me is if that person say they don't believe it and they don't want it. But other than that, I'm going after it. And I'm going after him with all I have. In this season, us as leaders, Apostle, we have to be willing. We have to be willing to be listening, to be obedient, and to move forward. Because you know like I know. I know you know like I know. Apostle Paul, the, uh, the Apostle Paul to Timothy. Sometimes we get this despised because of our youth. Sometimes they don't understand us because we're young. It's hard for them to receive the zeal that we have, the hunger that we have. And I can see it in you. I see it in you just in your praise because that praise comes from a place of gratefulness and a hunger for God and a hunger to please God. And so the word, the word is move in obedience. Trust him in obedience stay in obedience even when everything around you doesn't seem to understand the moves you're making be not it's the word he sent me when i was concerned about doing certain things recently you know what he sent me and it, it popped up as a word on one of my daily confirmations affirmations and confirmations two of them one of them was fear not the other one was be not afraid of their faces, for I, the Lord, am with you to deliver you. The power of God in obedience as we move. Because remember, it's in the motion that the anointing is activated. It's in the motion. Not the sitting still. He told Abram, what did he tell Abram? Rise, go up and go to a place where I'm, that I'm going to show you. He didn't know where he was going, but as he went, God went with him. Every time he's told anyone to arise and to go, he's always gone before them. He's always been the rear guard, and he's always been the supplier. He's always opened the door. He's always made the way. So the question is, Apostle, are we willing to go forward? Are we willing to go forward? Are we going to really trust what he said? Are we going to just read it? And, 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 and be happy to read it and, and sit in the body of the believers or are we, doing, are we going to go out into all the world and preach the gospel are we going to fulfill the great commission are we going to be obedient the word is obedience sir it's obedience let he who has the holy spiritual ears to hear listen and receive the word of the lord thank you for allowing me to have a word apostle I appreciate you God be the glory. It's all God's platform. Whatever God say, it's all what the Lord said, man. This um, Cindy ain't joined Jesus, man. Amen. I'm getting ready for this audition tomorrow. Amen. Uh, I'm just worshiping the Lord, man. That's all I do 24-7. Amen. Amen, man. You can pray for deliverance for the people, man. And close us out. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names, the name of under heaven upon the which all men are saved. Heavenly Father, we pray right now that the strength of your glory rest continually and abide with those under the sound of my voice. Father, we bless you for the strength of clarity, the strength of understanding, the strength of wisdom, and the strength of revelation. Now, Holy Spirit, we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, we command that all infirmities, all 
spirits of hindrance, all spirits of distraction and intrusion, all spirits of disease and sickness, all spirits of ignorance and hallelujah uh, and bondage be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you promised us, you told us it is, it is written that you have given all authority was given to you and that authority you have given to us. And so be, by the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and decree that everyone under the sound of my voice that you are healed from every sickness. You are delivered from every pain. You are healed from every childhood trauma. You are healed from every adult trauma, every domestic trauma. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed of every form of cancer. In the name of yes. Jesus Christ, you are healed, hallelujah, of every form of lung infirmity and sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed from every form of attack. In the name of Jesus on your pancreas, on your hallelujah, on your spleen, on your kidneys, hallelujah, on your brain. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare all forms of legions, tumors, and masses and growths. We declare the deliverance. They are gone now in the name of Jesus, the healer of all healers. As he went about Nazareth doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil because God is with him. And so Christ is as Christ is so are we in this earth in this world and against and over the world systems of the enemy and over all the power of the devil in the name of Jesus we declare that you are restored hallelujah greater than before all things have passed away and all things are made new hallelujah may God bless you and keep you may he make his face to shine upon you may the Lord be gracious to you smile upon you and give you his peace that the shalom shalom of God the perfect peace of God rule rest and abide in your life in your house and in your family that your children be covered from every work of demonism in the earth hallelujah that they be freed and clear of witchcraft and of every abominable thing that the enemy has brought into or around their lives in the name of Jesus that their minds be covered from gender confusion pan demonism and pandemonium in the name of Jesus father we declare our children and our sons and daughters shall prophesy as you have poured out your spirit on all flesh in the name of Jesus we receive and declare that the joy of the Lord is our strength hallelujah that goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our yes, life yes, hallelujah that we lay beside the still waters as he leads us hallelujah that lack and uh, lackness and sickness are not our portion in the name yes, of Jesus yes, Christ yes. that abundance and the fullness of bread by providing by the providing hand of the Lord of hosts yes, is yes. our yes. strength hallelujah that the Lord of armies the living God in in the name of Jesus Christ encamp around us because we fear him and that because we dwell in the secret place of the almighty of the most high under the shadow yes, of the Lord. almighty the Lord is our refuge and our strength our truth our shield our buckler our helmet hallelujah our word our sword our shoes of peace yes, as we carry the gospel to the nations father we thank you let the glory of the Lord could be with us. The glory of the Lord go before us. The glory of the Lord flow through us. The glory of the Lord heal through us, speak through us, teach through us. The wisdom and the anointing of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. So, Father, as we go out from this meeting, but not out of your sight. Father, we thank you for traveling grace and mercy that everywhere that we go, that the light of God shines in that place because we understand that it is written that a city set on the hill cannot be hidden and that no one lights a light and puts it under a bushel, but they put it in the midst of the house so that it can give light to all that are present. Father, let us be that light. 
Let us be that wisdom. Let us be your strength. Let us be your feet, your legs, your arms. Let us be your chest. Hallelujah. Let us be your vocal cords. Let us be the very shining presence of Jesus Christ in this earth. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for provision. We thank you for abundance. We thank you for divine health. We thank you, Father, for grace, mercy, and truth in Jesus' holy, righteous, and mighty name. And it is so. So be it. Amen. Man of God, let the people know what day, what services you have coming up. Amen. Amen. So um, on Mondays, on Mondays I do, on Mondays we do what is called the kingdom mandate. And it's simply getting those who are um, lost and bringing them into the kingdom. Um, but also for those who are in the kingdom and not fully aware of their authority as kingdom sons and daughters. Uh, we do that on Mondays at 5. I do it also, I do it on a platform called Calling. If you look it up, it's on the app, the, um, the Apple Yes, on the what is you it called? It on the, um, type, type it in, type it in, type it Okay, in it's on the app store. It's called Calling. The Calling. Did it go? Please okay, the Calling. Please tag somebody and let the you share this broadcast. The Calling app. Yes, yes. And so, so it's on the Apple, the App Store, and it's also on the Play Store. And I'm under. Now the Living Word Ministry. Let me put this down. Amen. Here. God yes. bless you, uh, Amen. Uh, Prophet or uh, Apostle Pastor West. If I pronounced your name right. God bless you, sir. Amen. Now the glasses. Under right. Now the Living Word Ministries. Yes. And um, yes. you can also find me at YouTube under the same name. I'm also under um, on Apple Podcast and Google Podcast under the exact same name. Okay. Now the Living Word Ministries, where you can check out some of the things that we're doing and um, and uh, graciously, hopefully, you know, I want them looking to maybe I can get you to to speak on there on the calling if you download the app and I can get you to come on and just the give a word to the people. To my, I think I think I called your. I think I have your number in my phone. I think I think I have your number on my phone. I think uh, Pastor Shepard. I think this shoot me a text. Yes, sir. God bless. Amen. Um, my ministry number is public, but you can call it. Amen. Write my number down. Let me grab my pen. All right. God bless you, uh, man. Prophet West. You your your name sounds so familiar, man of God. Amen. You said like, Amen. I know you from somewhere. Amen. But thank you for showing your presence. Yes, babe. I, I'm ready. Amen. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah, Amen. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. You got a pen ready? Yes. All right. It's three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Got it. Two, seven, nine. Two, seven, nine. Seven, three. Seven three three nine three nine. Amen. That is my cell number, direct cell number. You have to go through no this call it, text it. I will get it. It's on. It's over here on the side up here with the other camera. It's over here. So we can call the text. I whisper my number. It, um, amen. For those, please follow my friend, my brother, Apostle Shepherd. Please follow his page. Please, we are doing God. This is 2023. It's a year of new connections. Hey, Amen. I'm getting ready for my audition tomorrow. I pray that goes well. Hey, Amen. If that goes well in the future. Hey, Amen. Before next year, I'll be a professional actor. Hey, Amen. So I am excited what the Lord is getting ready to do. So keep me in prayer tomorrow. I get ready for his audition tomorrow. Hey, Amen. Uh, for this acting. Right, job. Amen. Uh oh, okay. Yes, so the Lord is moving. Amen. Amen. This don't, even if I'm going acting, this do not change my my attitude towards you. I'm still Lamont Robinson 24-7. I'm still a people's person. Because I'm, sometimes when people get up there, they forget where they come from. That's not me. Amen. Amen. 
And amen. amen. Praise God. I wanna, I wanna, yes, I want to I wanna honor Amen, Mother Hercule Robinson and Father Robinson and Apostle Burns and to Minister Naj. Amen. Amen to Apostle Paul Smith and to Pastor John Brown. Amen. And to Bishop Winnie Dillon. Amen. The Mount Calvary Church of Deliverance Incorporated. Amen. Amen to Pastor Gilmore. Amen. So Saturdays, 11 a.m. is Sabbath class, 1230 is worship. Amen. Sunday, the 8 p.m. is prophetic hour. Thursday, the prayer meeting, 8 p.m. Conference call is 978-990-5000. Access code is 4420-86, pound sign. Email to the generation worldwide at gmail.com. Amen. Did you repeat the conference call? The conference call, what was the number? 978? Uh, 978. Got it. 990 Got it. Five thousand. Got it. What's the access code? And the access code? code is four four two. Uh huh. Zero eight six pound sign. Four four two zero eight six pound sign. Yes. And Got it. um, the um, and that's Sunday. That's Thursday at eight p.m. And Thursday, Sunday, the 8 p.m. Is that Amen. Eastern time? Yes, Eastern Standard Time. What's the what 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 state you in? I'm in Nevada. You in Nevada? Okay. Yeah. Um. So you said so you said at what time? 8 p.m. Yes, it starts about. It starts so that's gonna be about. What is that gonna be about? Five for me. That's about five for me. Yes, about 8 p.m. It's the same yes. time both Sunday and Thursday? Yes, same time, same time. Also, okay. um, also April 29th. Amen. Please keep it in your calendar. April 29th. Amen. It is um, a prophetic in, in, uh, um, um, encounter. The guest speaker is uh, Prophet Shelton Spence. For the Covenant Church, give me like one minute, woman of God, one minute, okay? Affirmation, Affirmation installation, service. I just said that, Apostle. All right, I can do open to correction. Hey, Amen. Give me one minute, woman of God. That is at three. That's at three thirty. Please keep these announcements in mind. We're asking every visiting Apostle, beside the Bishop, to please, if you are a licensed leadership, Amen. Please be there no later than 2.30. If you want to march in at 2.45, do not get there at 3 o'clock or you will not be marching at 3.30. You will not be marching in. Amen. So we ask all leave to be in Pacific attire for this event coming up very soon. It's an international event. We have guests coming in. So we ask you to be in all things to be done in DCC and in order. Amen. I'm gonna let the apostle come up, but how you doing, woman of God? Um, woman of God, how are you? Uh, praise the Lord, Pastor. All right, who I'm speaking with? Uh, this is Paulus Mark, a servant of God from India. Oh, bless you from India. Oh, we got the mother. We got the we got the land in the building from India. Amen. 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 Uh, actually, there. The, the photo in my meeting which you see, that's the uh, photo of my spiritual mark. Okay, okay. You desire any prayer? I'm just inbox me your information. Inbox me your information, man. I don't want to cut you off. I, I, your your presence is so needed right now. But let me get back to the apostle, and I'm going to inbox you directly and talk to you directly, okay? One of our African pastors is in Africa right now at the moment, right now. Amen. Yes, I'm back, man of God. Yes. Um. So, um, where are you located? Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, boy. Boy, you about to you about a slot machine? You about to about to, about to big wheels up there, man? Uh, hey, let me tell you right here. We don't know that life. <laughs> we we done been there. <laughs> we. I'm gonna tell you, we don't know that life. Las Vegas. 
Out of yeah. flashback for a minute. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm in. We live. We live in. We in Las Vegas, but you know, we we uh, we uh, you know, my life, my life is is strategically, uh, slot for slot machine free. You know, I don't. Thank you. You would not be tempted of, by that. No, you would not be tempted by it. Oh no, 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 no. It's you know, it's, it's, it's when I first came here. That's actually part please. of my testimony. That's part of my testimony yes, when I first got here. From slotting the machine, yeah. the, 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 the I, man, Hey, look, watch this. Let me tell you how powerful prayer is. Prayer is so powerful that, like, my wife and I, what we do is we go through it when we drive through it because we do Uber Eats as well. So when we're driving through, we're praying over the land, right? Mm. We're praying over the land, and we, and, and we use the finger of God, the judgment of God against places that we believe need to just not be there. And we pray for the people there to find better jobs, you know. But I'm here to tell you, as a praise report so far, we got, what is that, baby, two casinos and then came down? That's casinos. That's not Yeah, I know, I know. But I'm talking about the casinos right now. Two casinos that <laughs> came down. Two casinos that came down, you know. And there was two of them strategically placed in, in, um, in neighborhoods that needed, in neighborhoods that were, you know, predominantly you know, the poor and the impoverished, you know, and so those two came down. It was right across from each other, came down. And, uh, you know, that's a, for me, that's a praise report as well. But we also been praying against these strip clubs. You know, a lot of them, they have strip clubs that are, you well, know, um, garnishing in <laughs> human trafficking and all this other stuff, you know. So, and I'm here to tell you, watch this, watch this. One time, the old, I was unctioned. I was unctioned by the Holy Spirit. I've been unctioned by the Holy Spirit to pray. Um, I was standing in Walmart, you know, and I was standing in front of the missing sign where missing children were, and there was a lot of them. And the Lord just had me. I just felt this overwhelming burden to pray. And ever since then, anytime I come in front of them, I pray. Well, I'm gonna tell you. One day, I was on my break at Walmart. At my break, on my lunch break, and I just heard. I just felt that unction. The Lord said, Are "You paying attention to the TV." So I turn, I look at the TV, and lo and behold, watch this, 18 men have been arrested in a child sex trafficking, um, human trafficking wow. scheme. The Lord, mm. the Lord, not, he allowed me to see that the prayers, the effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. And so when I say that, I say this, I say we need, we need to to stay in prayer. Jesus said, he said, pray always, pray and faint not. We should always be in prayer because he'll show you the victory. Even if he had to sit you down, when that time I was sitting down in the break room, man, I was sitting down because I was in pain. I was in pain at that moment. And I was so wrapped up in my pain, I wasn't caring, I wasn't even paying attention to everything else. And then I heard the Holy Spirit clear as day my said, God. look at the TV, look at the TV. When I turned to look at the TV, they had 18 men, and they were um, different faces, different nationalities. They were Asian, Latino, um, the, the black, black, man, it was uh, white, Caucasian. It was just crazy, but it was a blessing because they said that they were the first in a mega scheme that they knew to be bigger. So they caught that they caught 18 out of a scheme that was bigger, and so I, 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 I praise the Lord that he is counting us worthy, that I know that he's not going to allow our children just to be devoured by the world and to be used and mishandled, not only them, but, you know, our daughters and sons. And so here we are. I, I admonish you all, keep praying. Keep praying for our children. Keep praying for, um, keep praying for our lost sons and daughters. But also, let's keep praying for each other. That's what that's what we do around here. We pray for each other. Like right here, it's not that many as you can see, but this is right here. This is um every every time we get a chance, we're adding names to our prayer wall. You know, we're praying, and um, whoever we come across, you know, we add their names to the prayer wall, and and as the Lord gives utterance, we just keep praying. And so, if there's any concerns, uh, uh, Pastor, is he Pastor Hobbs, Pastor Wesley, or? If there's any concerns you have, you might want to type in. Just let us know, man. We'll put you on that thing. We'll put you on there, and we're going to pray and pray and pray, because I see you right there. Yeah, I see you, Pastor West. I'm looking at the live stream right now. 
Pastor Wesley, uh, where you where you watching us from? Cause he like you must be a new mutual connection. Cause he like he's some. That's a, I, I'm my first time seeing him. Okay. Yes, uh, Apostle. Amen. Um. The uh the world. Oklahoma. He said he in Oklahoma. You in Oklahoma? Inbox us your information. Uh, uh, man of God. Let me make sure. I, let me text you directly to your phone. Here. Hold on a minute. Try not to work this thing. Here. Hold Look at minute. that. He from California. Ain't that something? Hey, pa hey uh, Pastor Hobbs. I'm from California too. I'm you from California too. This, Born this and raised. Connection, connection y'all. Connection here, man. So listen. Look at the Lord. He does this. Only he can do that. Only he can connect yes. me with you from the East Coast all the way from over here on the west coast and connect us to the midwest <laughs> and have somebody yeah. from california on there yes he grew up in south carolina and now he live in no well we got Southern some people california we got some people up there in north carolina now no 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 no. he said yeah, he said them. southern california california okay, he said he grew southern in southern california. california and lived in northern california as well amen okay. i grew up in southern california i grew up in the city of watts Watch California in Los Angeles. Yeah, the Lord blessed me to be able to come from out of that place and and to come out with a praise to worship Him like He had, like like never before. Uh, God Pastor, is I mean, Pastor, Pastor Wesley, I'm I'm about to text your your message right now. Let's set the good tune in out to the other live streaming. Yeah, Central. We're gonna text <laughs> Amen. you. We, I'm about to text you right now. I'm trying to find your contacts here, man of God. I ain't got my glasses on right now. Let's see something yeah. here. Make sure I type the name right. Hey, beautiful. I know. Come here. Mm -hmm. Come say hi. Come here. This is, <laughs> you're beautiful. It's, I'm going to show you. This is my beautiful wife. Hey, stop. <laughs> stop. This is my I'm beautiful wife. I try you? not to be in the camera. How you doing? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> she don't like being on the camera yeah, that much. Nobody else here. Nobody else watching. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear, but hi. Yes, yes, Because yeah, yes. I, I have you on Bluetooth. Hold on a second. Okay. Hey, man, okay. anything, anything you want to say to the people? He said anything you want to say to the people. My people. Uh, hold on a second. There we go. All right. She can hear you now. I mean, you. Can I? Hi. Yeah, one minute, possible. Yes, minute anything we'll say to the people? Um, Hello. Hello. Yeah, he always catches me. I'm I camera shy. You. Anyways, um, God bless, God bless the Lord, everybody. everybody. I would say. All oh, as well. Give me that one minute. Like two minutes. Two minutes. I would say, Amen. in this hour, wholeheartedly, humbly, and sincerely, that we be not cliche Christians. The Lord, I cried out years ago to not be cliche. I wanted to know the scripture, but understand each scripture. But I also wanted to not walk cliche, meaning I quote something, meaning I preach something and be like our brother Paul and uh, we too be a castaway. But I would say literally walk wholeheartedly this walk, not just because I'm saying it, because I have been able to do it by the power of the Holy Ghost, and to trust that he's not just in you to save you and to get you to heaven, but that he's in you working yes. the power of God through you mightily, that that grace that we keep talking about, unearned, unmerited, unfavor, that's not just unearned, yeah. unmerited favor. That grace is an ability and an empowerment by the Holy Ghost yes. to walk out the will of the Lord in this earth. Amen. Jesus, yes. that spirit of the living God came upon him when he went into the water to be baptized. When he came mm -hmm. up, it said it came upon him as a dove, but it came upon him as power. And then it said he went out in the sure, power of the spirit. You understand? He went out and was able to resist the enemy in a 40 day fast, resist temptation. And the same Christ, Hallelujah. the word of God says, the same Christ, he says, is in us. The word of God says, as he is in this world, so are we. And I dare us, I dare us 
to challenge mm. ourselves to walk Jesus. like this Christ. Say, I am filled with the spirit of the I living God. Hallelujah. I got the life of Christ at I work in me. Mightily Ooh. glory to God to do the work of the Lord in this earth realm, in this dispensation, in my family, on my job. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The letter of I got the power of Christ at work in me. Don't be cliche. Don't be cliche. Don't be cliche, saints. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the world and the earth is groaning. The sons of men are groaning and traveling to see the sons of God. Why? Because we not walking like the sons of God. They can't see Christ in the earth. They see us being like them, acting like them, fitting in. Paul said, I became like one to reach one. No, he didn't get high with them. And I'm going to say this before I go. I'm going to say this before I go. It said that Jesus, a lot of people saying Jesus, and we heard our brother say this, and I'm going to repeat this because it's profound. It says that Jesus, they say, hung with the sinners, right? Right? No, the sinners hung with Jesus. Oh, see, that's a big difference. That's a big difference. The sinners was drawn to the anointed. They weren't hanging with him because he fit in and because he was compromising. Oh, Jesus, help me right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, I'm not going to talk. This is God himself. But the sinners was coming to him because he didn't compromise. Because they see something on him greater and different than the Pharisees. Hallelujah. Even the Pharisees and the, uh, the disciples said, what kind of man is this? What matter of man is this? That he can command water and seas and waves to be at peace. That's what they need to be saying about you. What I had an Asian walk up to me on my job and say, who are you? I've been seeing you for three years. And every time I come in your presence, you're smiling. And I know you got to suffer life. I say, yeah, because the hope of glory is inwardly, outwardly smiling. When I don't feel like it, he, oh, yeah, he, got, he in me having his way. Hallelujah. He in me moving. He in me living and having his being. Don't be cliche. Oh, glory to God. The sons of God are looking for you, and so is the earth. So is the earth. My husband wake up every morning and speak to the earth. He speak to the trees. He speak to the clouds. They looking for the sons of God. Look, the, I heard my brother say that the wind don't even know if it's a whisper or be a hurricane because the sons of God ain't telling it what to do. Oh, Jesus got up and had to go. I got to go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be cliche. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be cliche. Hallelujah. Walk in integrity. Yes. Walk with humility. How many spirit watch this? You'll never arrive. It's just because you've been called an apostle, an evangelist, a, a pastor, a deacon. How about you always was a minister? And at each level you grow, everybody that you became is still in you. That minister is in you. That evangelist is in yes. you. The pastor is in you. Yes. The apostle is in you. You ought to be able to step down at every given time and be the evangelist. And hallelujah, out of all the things in the world, mm. you ought to adore evangelism more than anything. That's the heart of God to mm. win the souls of people. The point to Jesus Christ. He who wins his souls mm. is what? Wise, hallelujah. And he will give you what to say. He will give you how to come and not to become them, but to become. That mean relate to him. That mean relate to him. I had to step up on an essay of Cholo and I had to relate. And I had to get to where I knew he would. He, they grew up being Catholics. All of them grew up being Catholic. All you got to do is say Jesus. All you got to do is say, you know, yes. S.A. Cholo, you was talking about Jesus. Yes. And you know right now, all that you have done, if you were to die, you will not face this Jesus and raise your eyes with him. And when you get to go in there and tell them and to really speak to them where they at, and kind of get a little bit of their language, yeah. I promise you I'll watch people break in my arms, fall, big men just fall over because I'm presenting that Jesus. Uh-uh, but I'm coming to them as, as, as like them, but I'm not being them. I had an essay say to me, if you could teach me with all that thugness, with, with, uh, with, a, with a little hip hop or um, roughness, teach me that Jesus like that and not be, oh, you know, sometimes we too um, religious, but I'm sold out. But he said, if you can teach me like that, I will follow this Jesus. Because sometimes you got to be like them to reach them. Amen. Amen. Don't be cliche. That's my word. That's my word. Amen. Amen. From the Spirit. Don't Amen. be cliche. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Thank you, my brother. God bless you all. I love you. And the Lord is God is looking for. What is it, baby, that the Lord gave me for you? Vicarious. Vicarious walkers. Jesus Amen. is vicarious. That's another word. He was vicarious. He got on that cross for us and died. He just said, would you die for people? 
Could you please die to your flesh so somebody can see that there's power in the earth? Can you please die around your friends so your friends can say, oh, Lord, have mercy. This man really walking this walk out. This woman really walking this walk out. This is real. This Christ is real because they are really doing. I know them and I watch them and they have not changed. They have not deviated. They have not diverted. They are not perverted. They're not subverted, but they are really walking this thing out. It must be really a true God. And matter of fact, I had people say, I want that God. Different nationalities. So that's what he want. Okay. No cliche. And. Vicarious walk. Vicarious walk. walk. walk and die for somebody. Okay, amen. Die in the presence of your family. Amen. Because your children think mm -hmm. you're playing with church. That's why they won't come after you. Amen. I love amen. you all. I love amen. you with the love of God. And, uh, amen. Pastor God bless you all. Shalom. All right. Anything, anything with that, Pastor, to the people? Well, I, I tell you what. You just said a whole lot. Well, I tell you what. Well, we word of God. Amen. Uh, you know, uh, I, just, I just happened to kind of scuffle with you guys talking, and I'm glad I did. And uh, I just believe that the Lord will to, uh, to bring this priest in both of our lives. Uh, you know, this will be an idea that both priests for both of them that. You don't remember the old citizens of the old, but I think it led you from the good things that God wants to do for both of you in this That it'll be new. There'll be more excitement, thanks of God, for the heart of God, than it meant for our own desires and our own wants. This is a new season, the Lord says, for both of you. Things are going to be different than they've ever been. Yes, Lord. And there's some things that, uh, uh, you know, he's going to close some doors. And the Lord, I don't want to go that way that way. Because it's not needed. You can't take you guys to this there. New opportunities. New, uh, new avenues. You'll be more effective than you've ever been before. Yes. Find everything together. You'll, 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 you'll be a fisher of men more than ever. Yes. But you'll also be united. You'll be, uh, you'll be wise, 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 and you'll yes. be more calm as a man. Hallelujah. Because you'll let you understand that he's going before you in a way where he wasn't away. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. 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 Let pass the best. Let them know about your service time. Uh, we do a live Facebook uh, every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time, 5 o'clock California time. And uh, tonight we're going to be ministering with another uh, prophet, uh, uh, Austin. Uh, and his name is Darius uh, Thomas. And so that'll be tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then uh, 6 o'clock uh, California Bay. Amen. 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 Um, Amen. Um, and I'll be sending you a, a prayer request, Pastor West. Sure. Amen, sure. Pastor hey, West. I'll switch with myself, myself the number to your phone. phone. Make sure you got it. I appreciate that. I would really love to do the right for me to that. Would mind. And Lord wants you to say, please, please. So God's really opening a point of door. Matter of fact, yeah. we're both uh, uh, by my April, May, June, July, somewhere in there, we're going to just explode. You know, it's already starting to open up the places of Africa and India and Europe. And, you know, we all have to understand that we must be free so that God can bring the increase that He desires for all of us. We don't want to put old wine wine. Amen. Because we all know that he's doing some new things, doing things differently than he's done before. And it's going to be a, a you know, everybody's talking about revival or the new push that's coming, but it's going to be unlike anything any of us have ever seen or even heard of in some ways, because it will surpass even what the first church did in the book of Acts with the shadow of Peter and 
but you know, when you think about it, I mean, there were 3,000 that got saved one day, then 5,000 got saved. We're going to see gonna some see numbers, some numbers, numbers yes. the impacts yes. that we've never seen before uh, in the church. It will be the greatest place that the world has ever seen. Not only signs and wonders, but the kind of glory that God is going to release upon this earth. And there'll be no more denying that there is only one true and living God. Mm. And so we have to have the way God thinks. We have to have the mind of Christ. And we've got to listen to the Holy Spirit so that he can lead us and guide us in truth. This is not about us. And I will say this. If anyone thinks they're going to take the glory or they're going to take some kind of credit or they're not going to give God the glory and, and they're going to say, look at what we did or something like that. I, I feel sorry for those folks. Come on. It's not Amen. And, and, and people need to understand that we are going to judge the house of God. And we've got to understand God is going to correct that which is messed up. And he's going to break it. I mean, my past, I am, 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 I Yes. Hallelujah. And then Pastor Rich, the Pastor uh, Wesley, we pray for a properties for you. Hear what I said? Say it again and just go ahead and say whatever the Lord wants you to say. We're praying for properties for you. Properties mean properties means church vans, parking lot, buildings, everything. outreach, everything. Be praying for that. We ask God to be released to you. Amen. The global anointing that we will impact millions and billions of people around the world. And we ask God to be released to you. Amen. We ask God to sing your people. Sing your supporter from the north, the south, the east, the west. We ask in God to bless you. Amen. Amen. That you will, that you will help. And I, will, and I will tell you something, too. The Lord says that that specific uh, thing that you've been praying about, there's one particular thing that you've been praying and asking God to give you direction about. The Lord says that the answer is about there. Don't give up. Just stay uh, in the adoration of praise and worship and thanking him, like Mark 11 says, that if we ask anything according to his will, he'll do it. God says he's going to do this for you, and it's, it's a mighty miracle that he's going to do for you. And he's, it's going to be one of those tremendous testimonies that you know only the Lord could have done this. But he says the breakthrough is about to begin. And don't lose hope. Stay focused and stay encouraged. But you're going to see a tremendous turnaround only the Lord could do for you. See you in Jesus' name. Ooh, that sounds like that was right up my alley, too. I believe in God for it. In the name of Jesus, that was right in, that was right down my bowling alley, knocked down all the pins. But I would, I would, I would, both of you just pray, pray, and pray for us, because we're believers in many things for the glory of God. It's not about us, it's all about Him. We do need the finances, we need the proper, because I'll tell you the two big things that God's put on our heart. You want to know what, uh, what our uh, ministry, besides ministry, is all about? To raise up sons and daughters that will know his own that will be able to go out and to bring in the heart of the heart. So we're going to build a train for the in Fulver, Texas, where people can come, where we can bring in all different backgrounds. 
whether they're old or whether they're young. Come on. Be able to pour in to these folks so that we can help them to fulfill their destiny, what God called them next week. And then we're going to go to this Africa, Nigeria, and other countries, and we're going to build facilities like that. And we're not going to have them pay for it. We're going to do it with our own funds. And we're going to bless them with that. Wow. You know what? I, and as you said that immediately, and hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ, as you said that, I heard that that wasn't just, that wasn't just you talking. Those were declarations. Hallelujah. Everything that God did started with the declaration. It started with it started in his thoughts. It started in his mind, but then he released the declaration. The, the declaration, because of who God is, began to manifest. The word of God says that as Christ is, so are we in this earth, and so are we in this world. So then that, that means that when he just told me and when he spoke to me was that you were not only just saying what you wanted to see happen, you were making a declaration of things that are to come prophetically the holy spirit was speaking to you the things that were coming to you and so in the name of jesus christ heavenly father by the power of the living god father because you said yes, father that you would not yes, deny sir. us any good thing father you yes, said that you would yes, give us yes, all things that were pertaining to yes, life yes, and godliness yes, father you promised us yes, in the name of jesus yes, christ yes, father that yes, you jesus. would not withhold hold from yes, us any sir, good thing and so because mm -hmm. you are not a man that you should lie nor the son of man that you should Ooh, repent yeah. father yeah. we yeah. call yeah. in from the north the south the, south, the, east, the east and, and the, west. the west hallelujah oh, all yeah. the resources all the destiny helpers all the kingdom connections yes, all yeah. the kingdom establishments yeah. in the name of yeah. jesus christ yeah. hallelujah from the ground floor yeah. to the king's yeah. throne yeah. room yeah. in the yeah. name yeah. of yeah. jesus yeah. christ yeah. We call forth all of the revenue, all of the assignments, all of the helpers, all of the prophets, all of the evangelists, all of every heavenly resources to connect with the earthly resources to produce that which you have called and ordained since before the very foundations of this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, for Pastor Hobbs and his wife and for their ministry, for their ministry and for Apostle Robinson and his ministry. Hallelujah. Please for the Morrises, and hallelujah for our Please ministry support. and for every kingdom minister that is minister as oh, led oh, by oh, the oh, spirit oh, of God in spirit oh, and in oh, truth, oh, rightly dividing oh, the oh, word. Oh, hallelujah. Praising hallelujah. you in private and in public. Hallelujah. Father, Please we receive it because we know that you have made it and it has already been waiting. So under the word of God, as it is written, Father, you promised us that if any two, hallelujah, shall come into agreement. Yes, Not only yes, shall they decree yes. a thing and it shall be established, yes, but Father, yes, you yes. are here also in the midst, and Father, that it will be done by our Heavenly Father, because Jesus is on the right hand yes, of Lord. the power of God, glory, and glory, that which glory. we ask, he promised he shall do. And because he is Word and he is Son, he is Son and Word and God, he is not a liar, and we receive all things all things in abundance exceedingly and abundantly far above that we could ask for imagine or even think hallelujah by the power of god in the name of jesus we declare it to be so we declare it to be so for those, yeah. for those who are under the sound of my voice, if you are in agreement with that which we have declared, that we have called from the spiritual into the natural, all things starting and originating in the heart and the mind and the belly of God, in the name of Jesus, if you are in agreement, say it is so in the name it's of so. Jesus Christ, because it is so. so. In the name of Jesus Christ, this, this 17th day of February, uh, 2023 and on God's calendar 5783 we call it done and we receive it yes. it is established in yes, Jesus name. Yes. 
my brother in Vegas, this is what I just heard the Lord say while you were praying. He said, son, I want you to be <laughs> strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Woo. I want you to put on the whole armor Hallelujah. of God. Oh. I want you to hey, look at this. Watch this. Hey, y'all, look. This is one of my prayer alarms. Listen to what he's saying to us after the prayer. You hear me? Listen to what he's saying to us after the prayer. Can y'all hear that? Yes. This is what the Lord Can you hear that, Apostle Robinson? Yes. That's what he's saying to us. Woo! Can you hear it? Why can't I hear you? Oh, can you hear it? Let's say it real loud together. You know my name. Yeah. And you call me free. Yeah, I'm the camera is not facing me. My camera in the middle. Yes, yes.
I'm not hearing nothing yet. Oh, hang on just a second. You're you got yourself muted, by the way. Oh, a minute. Say something. There the you people. go. Now I can hear you. Hello. Yes, I may I may have passed. I'm oh, sorry no about problem. that. Oh, that's all right. I just couldn't hear you, so I didn't know if it was me or if it was you. So. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Anything you want to say to the people? Great to people. Well, I tell you what. You know, uh, Sunday the Lord just really kept dealing with me uh, to tell His people that you know this is the time and the season that we we've, we've got to really trust God completely like we've never trusted him before. We've got to really trust him that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him, that if we'll trust him with all of our heart and we don't lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, and we acknowledge him, he will direct our path. And there's many folks that are listening to this today or may even listen to the replay that are really needing some direction in their lives. They're needing hope. They're needing to know that, uh, you know, is my faith in vain or is, you know, am I really growing? Am I, am I really overcoming these things? Well, let me say this to you today. Watch what you say over your life, good or bad, because whatever you're saying is what you're going to be partaking of. Remember, life and death is in our tongue. So we've got to begin to start speaking to those mountains, but we can't speak to the mountains one minute and then, you know, speak doubt and unbelief the next. So we've got to be consistent about what it is that we're believing God. And I want to challenge everybody today. Get a blank piece of paper. Begin to pray and pray in the spirit and ask God to begin to inspire you to believe. You know, the Bible says without a vision, the people perish. And, you know, begin to write the things that you're believing for God to do for you in this season, in this year, that this is going to be a tremendous breakthrough year for the body of Christ. But the body of Christ has got to line themselves up with what God wants. So as Mark 11 says, we've got to make sure that we're not walking around with unforgiveness or bitterness or, you know, issues that we've not resolved, unresolved issues even. We've got to make sure that our hearts and our lives are right with the Lord. And, and, you know, that, that we begin to go forward, not, not dwelling on the past, not dwelling on, on the mistakes or the failures that we've all gone through. We've got to forget those things and we got to go forward because this is a new season for the church. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to build all this year. And when we get into 2024, let me tell you, the floodgates of heaven are going to open in a dimension we've never seen like before. And it's going to continue to build over the next couple of years. And God is going to do what we've been believing God for do and even greater things. But we want to be ready to receive it. We want to be at a place where we can truly walk in it and abide in it. And it's abiding in us and that we're being someone that God can use for his glory to make a difference in somebody else's life. Amen. Mm. So we have Amen. to believe. We've got to believe. That's why we're believers. We've got to believe the report of the Lord. Amen. We've lived listen to too much lies of the enemy and you know and and, and you know we, we all feel uh, if we're honest we all get insecure in some ways we start to doubt we start to get double-minded and we have to remember a double-minded person is going to be unstable in all their ways and uh, but you know I wanted to tell you too my brother that uh, the Lord was really showing me something about you and that this is going to be a season where you're going to see a lot of things be resurrected in your life there's dreams and there's hopes and there's desires that God's put in you. And in some ways you thought, you know, well, I guess it's not going to happen when it was going to happen. And, and you kind of give up on some things and you kind of let your focus get where you thought it needed to be. And the Lord wanted me to tell you, it ain't over till it's over. He says, if you delight yourself in him, he'll give you the desire of your heart. And you know what the Lord is saying? I'm going to resurrect some things in you that you thought were dead and over. He said, I'm going to open a door for you and no man's going to shut it and I'm going to give you favor and I'm going to use you for my glory and I'm going to use you in the secular realm. I'm not just going to use you in the Christian realm, but I'm going to use you where there ain't Christians at or maybe the Christians are hiding out maybe, okay? But, but anyway, he's going to use you 
And what I saw the Lord say was, I'm going to use you to pull them right out of the fire. And I'm going to use you to bring life and bring hope, but also show grace and show mercy because the Lord has done that for you. He's shown you lots of grace. He's shown you lots of mercy because you know he's a good God. And he wants you to know something. He says, son, I love you with an everlasting love. I thank you, the Lord says. He thanks you for your faithfulness and your willingness to serve him and to do whatever he's asked of you to do. And he says, I will restore and I will refresh and I will make all things new for you. And I will help you and I will open doors for you and it will be a blessing. And this season that you're getting ready to come into, it'll be the greatest season of your life. And it'll be unlike anything you've ever seen before. And it'll be, there'll be more passion. There will be a zeal and it will be according to knowledge for the glory of God. Mm. Amen. Uh, Does that bear man. witness with you, Spirit? Yes. yes. I receive it in Jesus' name. I'm getting ready tomorrow for this uh, audition, for this acting job. That's powerful. Mm. My son's an actor. Wow. Yeah, he's been doing a lot of stuff on uh, different things with uh, Mike Rowe's show on TVN. He's been in a few of those. Uh, he's got one getting ready to come out. And he's been in a lot of uh, extra roles in a lot of different movies that they've made in the uh, in the Tulsa area. And, uh, yeah, they just moved about eight or nine months ago to the Savannah, Georgia area because of all the acting that's going on there in Atlanta and stuff. And so... But you know what? Mm -hmm. God is going to do some great things in your life. And I'm going to tell you what the word he keeps saying to you. It's going to be unusual. It's going to be different and unusual for you. But it's going to be perfect for you because it's what he's made you for. And it'll be a blessing. It'll help you to be able to do the other things that God says he's put in your heart. And the demand that he's put on your life. It's going to fund a lot of things. It's going to help you. It's going to give you a platform that you would never have if God hadn't have took you this way. That makes sense? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. And the word, word, last thing he says to tell you is there's a tremendous favor right now that's resting and ruling and abiding on you right now. And again, he wants me to say this to you. Be careful what you say. Make sure you speak his word. Because remember, he watches over his word to perform it in our lives. And he says, whatever you speak is what's going to come to pass. So be careful what you say. Even when you feel frustrated or discouraged, he says that's when you need to flip it around and just begin to praise him and thank him. Because he is a good God and he's for you. He wants you to know this. He wants me to remind you this. He is for you. He's never been against you. And he will lead you and he will guide you. It will be tough. It will have challenges in your life. There'll be, there'll be times where you feel lots of pressure at times. But remember this, greater is he that's within you than he that's in this world. And if God, God's for you, it doesn't matter what's against you. Man. I just know this, there is a time and there is a season of refreshing that's coming for you. And, and I don't know if you're married or not, but uh, uh, there, there is a time and there's a season of refreshing coming for you. And it's going to, it's going to, there's going to be some new wind that's going to breathe upon your sails. And God's going to give you some new, uh, it's almost like rivers of living water are going to begin to flow out of your belly in a fresh way. And out of it's going to come some new passion some new excitement about the things of God and about the season. Because remember, after every trial, and you've been through a tremendous challenge of trials over the last couple of years, it's been a really hard season. Uh, but the Lord says the blessing is about to take place. And he says he's going to refresh you and he's going to breathe new life into you. And he's going to get you ready for this next seasons that are in front of you. That makes sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's all I got to say, my friend. I all right. Was, you can look and you can close. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Lord's willing, close us out in prayer, man. Well, Father, I just thank you so much for the privilege and the honor to know you as our Lord and our Savior. 
that you are a God of compassion. You're a God of grace and mercy and you're long suffering, you're patient, you're gentle, and you're so kind with all of us. You never give up. And though, Lord, those that may feel like they're in a, in a terrible place right now where they feel depressed or oppressed, we just rebuke that spirit of depression and that spirit of oppression. We rebuke even that spirit of suicide that feel like they're not worthy of your love or they don't feel like they're good enough. Lord, right now, we just speak life over them, and we declare, God, that there is life in the blood of Jesus Christ. And, Father, I ask you to cover them right now with the blood of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, to send your angels to encamp around them, to keep them in all your ways, that you would lead them and guide them, and, Father, that you would bring them alongside folks that would be able to speak hope into them, Lord, that would bring love and bring truth, because it's the truth that makes us free. And Lord, I just thank you that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Any words that try to rise up in judgment against them, Lord, you tell us to open up our mouth because that is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And we, we, con we condemn those things that are not of you, God. We're going to hold fast to the promises of God. And we know that you are Yahweh. We know that you are Emmanuel, that you are with us. So, Father, we thank you today and we praise you right now that the best is yet to come, that all things are passing away. And Father, Father, we just praise you that behold, oh God, behold, all things are becoming new for your glory. And we just give you all the praise and the honor. We thank you for the glory, God. We thank you because you are faithful. And we just give you all the praise today. Bless the people, meet their needs, have your way in their lives, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you all for tuning in. Amen. We get ready to get ready to eat. Amen. Dinner. Amen. The luxury of Pastor Burns have cooked a great meal for me today. We thank God for that. Amen. She's not going to hit, but she, she, you know, she's a great cook. <laughs> amen. She cooked the luxury spaghetti. It's all right, Apostle. <laughs> <laughs> So we thank we thank we thank God for the Apostle Burns and and main thing we'll say to the people the Apostle. Drive forward. Amen. Amen. Drive forward. Amen. All right, people. Peace and blessings. Man of God, if you get a chance, inbox me your uh information, okay? God bless.